Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be talking about MLflow and how we can use it to store uh, or to lock uh, scikit-learn models. In the last video we saw something about that and uh, we lock a um, scikit-learn model, a decision tree classifier. Uh, but we noticed that there was a problem with the input data or the data about the data. So in this video we are going to use a special class in MLflow to create a signature, to create a signature and log information about the input and output data of our model. So let's take a look at the code. So here we are. Um, in this version, what we are seeing is basically a modification of the last code. In this case, I need to use pandas, um, a new class from MLflow. Uh, called infer signature. So let's go through this code. Um, and notice the differences. The differences um, that we have right now. First, this is this is the same. I am creating fake data using make classification. Um, I have two classes. By default, this method generates uh, fake data with twenty features. Uh, twenty features, as we can see here. Uh, the default value is 20. So here in the next the next stage, I am creating a pandas data frame uh, using edge my 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 array with features, and I am creating the names of those features using you know simple simple Python. So this data frame is going to have basically inf uh, the feature data in a tabular format. Um, I am doing the same thing with the labels. And uh, this is required if I can if I want to pass a uh, metadata about the data to MLflow. So here in this stage, in this state, I am creating or oh, I am spl splitting my data into training and testing data. Um, in this case, uh, in this line, I am creating my signature. This signature is going to contain information about the input format and the output format. So MLflow can log the type of data that we are using to train the model and that we are going to use to evaluate the model or to make predictions. So basically model input is edge train, um, model output is white train. Uh, quite easy so far. And the rest is basically the same. We instantiate a uh, decision tree classifier we train the model and in this line we add this part signature is equals to signature so let's see what happens when we run this code um, it's going to here we are going to be okay we are going to see another run on their artifacts we have my we have the secular model right and something important here ml model I have information about my input data and about the output. Yes, we have the name, it's called label, uh, but here we can see we can put other name, maybe let's say another uh, something more meaningful. But this is an example, so I just use label and here I use feature one, feature two, and so on. So we can see data about the data. We have a uh, feature one and double, the type is double. Uh, let's see how this look on um, the user interface. So let's MFRAW user interface. And let's go. Let's refresh. Okay. As we can see, we are not logging any metric or parameter. So let's go to this. Okay. Here we can see basically the same thing than before that in the last video under artifacts we have information about the model and the environment in which the model should run but in addition to the last video now i have information about the data uh, that i used to train the model and uh, therefore i should use to test uh, to make predictions with the model and um, basically we have 20 features and they are the same type but you know, in a real case, we can have maybe integers, uh, we can have maybe, um, you know, other, other data types. 
um, we have label integer right um, basically the same so that's it for this video um, so far we have everything that we need to to develop a machine learning project using mlflow but in the following videos I'm going to show you let's say other classes or methods with mlflow on mlflow that can help us to create a more organized uh, code let's say for example that we want to use we want to create another experiment so far we have been working using uh, default uh, experiment under zero with zero id how we can create another experiment uh, can we uh, update a run you know maybe we can you know make a mistake and we need to date a metric or a parameter how can we do those kind of things so the next videos i'm going to talk about that about using mlflow to create experiments to uh, to choose runs and to update uh, variables Variables, you know, uh, let's say parameters and methods. I'm not sure about methods, but I think that I, we can update um, parameters. Basically, uh, we are going to use, uh, or we are going to see with more detail how we can use uh, the API of MLflow to do all those things. Well, thanks for listening to me. Um, see you in the, in the next video. Bye. Thank you.